Back in December, my son and I took on this trail to find a camping spot. By the time we got to the water crossing, our winch failed and we had to turn back around. Ever since, it's been my calling to complete this trail. However, in the Sierras, the snow is melting and the conditions of the trail have changed. Come straight, come straight! Fuck. I'm here to finish what I started. Today is go topless day. I've got my Jeep and the top off. We're really excited to hit this trail. I've got a couple friends willing with me today. This is the Sourgrass Trailhead where we're at. We haven't done this trail this year since the snow melt and we're looking to have some fun. Let's go check it out. It is such a beautiful day, and right at the beginning of the trail, we hit the first obstacle course. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. So I was like, either way, you go on the rock, but. Mm. There you go. Nice. There you go. Nice. I'm gonna walk up this first obstacle, that way, you guys can get a perspective of what it looks like. Yeah, so the trail's super busy today, but they got up and now it's our turn. Now don't be intimidated by this trail. This trail is actually pretty simple and a stock vehicle with 31 inch tires can easily get along up to this trail. <laughs> yeah. Got it. <laughs> Spider monkey over here. <laughs> So that was the second obstacle of the trail and I think everything's pretty going pretty good. XJ's doing well. Uh, Josh's TJ's doing great. And right now we're just chilling, taking our sweet ass time to the next obstacle. It's about a half mile till we get there. It's a water crossing. From my understanding, I was told that it's at about a yard deep. There's a lot of snow that's melting up here in the Sierras and these river and water streams, they are flowing really good so we're gonna go check it out that's our next stop let's go see what it looks like
And these first two Jeeps got through no problem. They made it look so simple. So I'm finally here at a second attempt of crossing this cross and the side step is in the way hitting a boulder. Now some will argue planning is preparedness and at this point I realized I was not prepared. I ended up losing this battle but I did win the war. My winch was decent and I was able to get my vehicle up and out of that obstacle. I continued to winch up through there and um, I was a little bummed out afterwards. I probably should have gave the Jeep a second chance. Now my friend Josh, he's gonna attempt to do it in his Jeep. Come straight, come straight. Fuck, he just lost his link. So at this point, he ended up hitting that tie rod pretty hard and we thought it was busted. It ended up not being busted. What we're gonna do is just head back to the trail and try to straighten out the parking lot. Smacked it right there on the tie rod, bent tie rod. <laughs> you made it though, dude. We had to winch you, but at least you got it. Love it. All right, guys, so that was pretty interesting. A lot of rigs went through and it got really, really busy in that intersection. So we ended up taking off. So I actually got some damage on the red TJ. Josh, we got his tie rod. We got to fix that when we get back to the trailhead. And yeah, there was quite a bit of vehicles that got hung up. I think Rock, uh, Josh's rear wheel flung a big boulder right in the line that everyone takes. And ev since then, everyone's diff's been getting hung up. So that's been new, but there's a ton of people on this trail. Look around, look at this, all these people. Yeah. So this is the other water crossing that people take if they don't want to do that one and um, we're gonna go back the other way. It looks like someone's witching right now. So that's the plan, we're going back. The only way back is to either go through the way we came or through here. So we're gonna check out this one. Why not, it's interesting. I mean, we could go back through that water crossing, but uh, we haven't done this one yet, so let's go back this way. We're gonna turn around and get back to the trailhead. So the YJ ended up not making it up this obstacle. They ended up having to winch out and then we could get through.
and that's the end of the trail. Alright guys, we made it to the trailhead and I'm just airing up my tires, getting those back to roadworthy PSI, somewhere around 35, and I'm just assessing any damage that we may have gotten while on the trail. I'll turn you around and show you what I found. So this thing's busted. Sidestep, probably bashed into a rock. That's broken. Everything got soaked when we did that water crossing, so I'm just drying out all the jackets, got the blankets, getting all this stuff dried out because everything got soaked. Got some rock rash. Oh yeah. Josh's Jeep, his TJ, sway bar disconnects. We ended up just flipping him up to the top and then putting a bungee cord on the top just to keep him out of the way. I think his wheel was hitting the side of it. So got that out of the way. And then before we hit the water crossing, we noticed that he didn't have a vent tube on his front diff. Hey, he sent it anyways. And then during that first crossing, he hit that rock pretty good and bent the tie rod so we're gonna try to straighten that out right now Let's see how that does it'll probably spring back a little bit let me wind it let's see if it springs back it might a little bit all right, so it looked like it helped it out a lot. Got it straight. Done with this jack. But at least you can turn left now. All right, guys, so that's a pretty much it. We finished the trail. We're airing up and getting ready to hit the road. Uh, had a great time. Topless and the TJ. And it was just a beautiful day today. Getting wet and have fun on the trail. See you on the next video. Have a good day. Peace out.